Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, of the Cares None Be Dope Podcast. I am your host, Chris Cares None, and then with my co-host, D. Eric Fisher. What's up, baby? What's going on, baby? Wow. You know, you a pretty cool nigga. I, I try to be. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's my pretty cool brother, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pretty cool. Brother. How you been, man? I've been well, man. I've been very well, actually. Very, very well. How you been? I would say I've been well, too, man. It's Doing it's, well, dog. It's like a, uh, but it's pr- perspective, right? And and I feel like a lot of like it's easy to be like oh you know I had a I had a shitty day or a shitty week and it's easy to get there yeah but I I believe in the power of of words so I feel like even just saying like eh my day was okay like when people ask me how you doing I'm like I'm great for sure you know what I'm saying even if I had a rough week I would I would just say it you know so personally I had a great week that's what's up. But I feel like whenever when it'll always be a great week. So, like, mm. cause even the shit, I feel you. I was I, I was kind of saying that today. I was talking to myself, just revving myself up and shit like I do. <laughs> but I was just excited about the year that I've been having and the year to come. And I was just like, man, it's about to be the best year ever. And I, I was just thinking back to myself, like, damn, I say that about every year. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my my. It's like I always tell myself, this year is the best year. This year is the best year. It's going to be the best year. So kind of had a similar similar tone you know what's crazy up until just recently and when i mean recently i mean a few years I, I can't pinpoint exactly when this started but i used to always say damn that I, I i i used to look at that question in the past tense so i would say damn last year was dope mm-hmm. and then but i wouldn't think enough about the future so i never would, would come from it like oh man the rest of this year is going to be the best year ever so that which is a forward positive mindset, and not saying that mine was wrong, but it wasn't forward thinking enough. Mm. Mm. Forward thinking, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's just, it's just it, and it, it was still good because my perspective was no matter what my year was, it was gonna be dope. But now I'm having the wherewithal or, or the being in the moment, ironically, to think about the future, mm-hmm. even like long terms and investment. You know what? Let's talk about hey, that. Hey. Can we talk about that? investment that might be one of the like the most vicious words on the planet uh-huh i like it even from the like investing in yourself mentally you know what i'm saying investing in 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 yourself like like meditation right it, it takes an investment now i know you could th- invest in, like a money thing mm-hmm. you can think of it that way if you want but i think like the the definition is a is a money transaction right what well, we know what you mean, but we know what I mean, right? Because I was trying to find it, but people know what I mean when I say in, like invest. Because mm-hmm. sometimes just talking to someone could be an investment in yourself, or or let's say you want to go to sleep every night at nine p.m. for you know just to to try it and, and invest what it's going to take to do that. You you're investing something because it takes you have right. to make sure that, that the discipline that's an an investment because you want to just kind of just be whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, like so. Mm-hmm. What is like the opposite of discipline? Hey, 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 hey! My bad for interrupting the podcast, but I gotta throw a little bit of love to CaresNone.com. You can go in there and get links to the social medias. You got the Instagrams, you got your TikToks, you got your YouTube's, you got all kind of stuff on there. You got links to the kid uh, to the wing review. You got links to the audio and video version of the podcast. All kind of stuff on there, and most importantly to me, which is very important to me, is you get your merchandise on there. You can get you get you a B dope shirt just like this. Join the movement. There's a lot of people joining this movement right now. You should be a part of it, and I would really appreciate if you'd be a part of it. It serves as a daily reminder to be the best version of yourself and not give a damn about what these other people think about what it is you want to do to be the best version of yourself. And for the people watching this right now, use promo code podcast. And you'll get 20% off your order right now. Right now. For all the people who are watching the podcast, you get 20% off right now. Promo code PODCAST. Thank you. See you next time. Now back to the podcast. The opposite of discipline? <laughs> yeah, like... I I'm, guess investment? Shit. Oh, man, I was going to say... Or, uh, non-investment, I should say. Right. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, I mean. right. Like non-investment. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you ain't disciplined, I mean, you just ain't investing. I, mean, I guess you could be... No. Because I feel like you investment, you have to invest. I don't yeah. know. Sometimes it's just your time. 
Yeah. Read that book. Yeah, you know what? It's going to be 23 hours. I know. Invest your time. I know it's hard. It's hard to... We want to invest, but it's like the highs and lows happen within us. So you want to, it's, it's funny. You can have your investment right in front of you and still lack on your investment. Right. 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 Because, or, or you think it's just, you don't know, you don't realize that it takes the investment to do it, or you just don't want that thing bad enough. I don't know. Like, do you, do you think people have knowledge? Like, do you think people have, that they know stuff? Yeah. But I feel like to specialize in shit, you gotta you gotta you gotta know a little bit more stuff. Yeah, for sure, you do. Right? Yeah. And everyone has the access. Mm-hmm. That's the crazy part. It's like everyone's got access, but some people aren't. Some people don't thrive to 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 know more. That's and I think. Okay, go on with that. I like where you're going. I like. So I'm going. just trying to understand, like, are you are you are you born with this this desire to just know more or? or are you been, have you been taught that? How much of that is in your environment right. versus who you are in your blood? Right. I don't even. Yeah, I don't know. Versus someone who just don't want to do something like that, like someone who's not driven. And I think there's no problem with it because it's not a life or death situation right now. So they can, you know, it's, it's not like everybody has to be the driven one. It's, that's what's a, what we were talking about last time. Like, that's what society is for. It's for people to. I, maybe I was talking to my brother about this. I don't know. But it's, we were saying like. What a society is built for is built for people who don't. It's built for you to be in the chain. It's built for you to be in the in the system, so that you don't have to be great necessarily, or mm. not necessarily be great. I want to use those terms necessarily, but you know, just think outside of the box. That's what a whole society is for. It's for you to be within the society. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but there's nothing up. wrong with that. That's that's just because you're still gonna live a healthy life. You're gonna go. Do all the right things, get your education, whatever it says within the society, get married, have a you know, wife or or husband, blah, blah, blah. And you're gonna live a healthy life. You don't have to necessarily contribute, or you can contribute in a different way, excuse me. What you do is you work your job and that's your contribution. You're contributing into a business so that they can grow and grow within society. So you you're contributing your your labor for that, right? And that's in that aspect. But as far as like being an innovator, that's not where you feel like you have the capacity to contribute. So you don't do that. You give your time and effort to an innovator already. It's just that a person like yourself, you're more so of an innovator with it. You're a creative. You're the one that's bouncing off ideas. So you're the one to set up the operation for somebody to be able to do that for you who wants to just be behind the scenes with it. Which is what we were talking about the other day yeah. is when do you start to relinquish certain aspects of what you're doing in order to scale it because there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a point that's going on where it's like man i like you like you said you want to touch everything yeah because you know the vision that you have right you You know color right right right, right. no so like you just have the vision but (laughs) and you trust your own vision right you ain't gonna trust nothing more than your own vision like i know what i think would be dope or i'm willing to make the risk Right. For my vision to right. do something. And if it's know? mine, it's mine. Like, if it's bad, right. it's mine. You know, right. Whatever. And I'll take that. Yeah. Uh, but, I would, you know, th- there's a part of me that would say, man, if I gave this person more creative control over Cares None, anything, and then, like, it was it was a bomb, and it, and I wasn't the one who was in control yeah, of it, I yeah, had to, like, yeah. damn, like, damn, y'all, that wasn't even me. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that would, I mean, like, you know. Yeah, for sure. But I think that you got to, so that's a part that's battling in my in my brain. Mm-hmm. But all the studying, all the smart people I listen to, all the dope individuals say, you cannot be dope without a team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it cannot happen. And, and, just, and everything, even, like, sports and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you can say, oh, this one player did it. No, at the end of the day, there's five niggas on the team. And there's a coach, and there's all kind of shit, man. Right. You need a team to do anything. We understand in this system that you need somebody who's the one person, the face. Everybody else, they play their role, but we need a face, you know? And that, that person is equally as important as the manager, the this, the that, the consultant, the administrator, the marketing rep, whatever have you, you know? So, yeah, it all counts. And you can be the you can be the face. Cares none can be the face of it. Yeah, but, I'm, well, I guess the point I'm making was, I have to 
understand that since I, I do want to scale this thing, I'm going to have to let go of some things that I, that I that, that even like some stuff like, oh, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Even just like, cause I know I'll get it done. Right. I was just thinking about that uh, on the train earlier. Cause uh, we, we both were just talking about eBooks the other day. And I was thinking like, we could just learn how to do it ourselves and whatnot. Right. But then as I'm, as I'm taking this course and whatnot and getting this uh, program done, I'm learning this. There's so many ways in which we're trying to like, and as far as like how we're trying to scale shit, like eBooks is one way, but we're talking emails, we're talking videos, photos, infographics, eBooks, like so many platforms on which we got to touch, right? To really like scale it, like motherfuckers want to scale it. Right. And I'm like, okay, we can, this could be another thing we can learn, and then we can learn the next thing, and then we can learn the next thing. We can do it because I know we put our mind to it. That's just how we are. However, like, that's when you start making that decision to answer your original question. That's when you start, it starts to click in your head. How much do I actually want to do? Right, right, right. Because I don't even want to do It's like, wait, shit. okay, I can and I know I can because right, I can right, go hard. Right, right, But do I want to do every fucking digital media like and keep up with every single drop of everything? Yeah. Like, you realize and then you And you got to learn all that you, shit. And you have to learn it. Like, I was just going to bring my iPad and show you the stuff I'm learning right now. I'm learning SEO, like search engine optimizations and stuff like that. So, like, this is stuff you got to learn to right. even really scale shit like you want to. Right, right. So, I'm like, but I'm also learning, like, man, you can just hire people to do that shit, though. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's hey, a switch. But to answer your question even further, I'm sorry if I can finish no, it. Go, to answer your question, it's a switch that you have to make in your head. I'm realizing, I was realizing that even today. Like, you have to, when you're a creative, uh, to piggyback off the podcast, when you're a pre- creative, you have so many thoughts scattered across your head because you're multitasking all the time. You can do this, you can do that, you can be in front of the camera, behind the camera, but... Sometimes you need to, like, you need to, you have your highs and lows and shit with that. Like, sometimes it's like, okay, I got to dedicate time to this, but I can't dedicate time to that. So it's like, this may not get as much attention, blah, blah, blah. So then you, you, you like, need something to kind of, like, always is going to keep you steady no matter what, no matter your creativity. So that's when you become an operator of your own creativity. You just say, okay, I can put everything in place and I can just delegate delegate and we've been talking about delegation now for about a year yeah, this yeah. is just the next form of like for real business delegation and how this shit is really done you know what i mean so that way you're really the operator of your own shit it's still your voice and everything like that but you're just putting it together operationally like you're the brain and that's what i started thinking of my whole business as a brain and it's my my brain putting this all all this shit together so optional yeah it, it, and what stuck out to me is the like I could easily learn how to do this ebook, or easily learn how to write a regular book, or easily. But that I I know what it takes in order to do anything great. It's going to take some like laser focus, unless it, to, for yourself. So that means if you want to be great at writing a book, you you, you probably learn like the the steps to writing a book. What's the best ways to write it? But you know, it take you would take a long time. I, I think it'd be tough to write a phenomenal book just like right now. Right. You would have to learn how to do it. Oh yeah, for sure. Or with anything in life, you gotta learn how to do the shit. Mm-hmm. So, it takes crazy psychotic w- type work to be great at, it, at something. I don't know if I if I want to put that on every single thing going forward. I could put more big energy, trust that this person and I have a good vision, right? And respect people's process. Pe- respect people's right. professional process too. Like people are dope. If that's what you think, you know what I mean. Own it. We want that. We want that camaraderie. That's what people are here for. We're here to um, to combine these others, each other's talents, and and make some 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 dope ass shit together. So, no, which, which is the whole masterminding thing. Yeah, that's the masterminding thing. That's just the next level of what we're trying to do. Which and, and like we were saying the other day, you can learn everything, Chris, but your talent and your message and your value is better spent being tremendously visual right now. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, if it can be visual right now as much as it can be, why not? Right. And with, you know what I'm saying? Like, with, with your control of it, with your operational control over it, too. Like. Yeah, but that it would best serve. It would serve the business way more to be to do the video. Because there's a lot of time where I'm doing behind the scenes shit. Right. That I have to do. Right. And that's there's not someone else who could do it much better. That's not what Will Smith is doing. That's not what. Uh, the rock, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's it's right. a team. That's what we talk about. The team, like 
they already ready. Somebody's already ready to shoot this and got this already edited up and got this dropping already on right. Tuesday. Got that dropping next Thursday at 8 a.m. Like, it's already lined up in the queue. Right. You know what I mean? So. And the cool thing is they, they got they got ways to, to get those relatively inexpensive. Mm-hmm. With like yeah. Fiverr and shit like that, you can get yeah. freelance. Or my whole thing is someone maybe who's who's trying to come up too. Right, for sure, for sure. So maybe they not the P Diddy or they not the top of the line, right. but they know more than you do, and they trying to come up with you. Mm-hmm. So it's like we can all grow together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's where I, that's like one way or Fiverr. So you, you know you get right. some decent shit. Oh, absolutely. Like I, I had, I'm a true user of Fiverr. One of my I, one I of my podcasts right was now. edited. Uh, Hundred bucks. He did yeah. this solid job. You know? Yeah, and you can go back and forth with him. Oh sure. yeah, I've been doing Fiverr for a minute. Man. I got I got some uh, new logo thing coming in right now from Fiverr. Like 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 it's in the process. Yeah, talk to him today. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's a way you could you could help. Oh do yeah, that. but you do have to mentally get there too. You know, you have to, and and then you have to be willing to invest again because mm-hmm. sometimes that that takes an investment. Mm-hmm. Most almost every time. One, you have to invest your time with someone. Like, there's a lot. And then two, you have to inv- or invest money yeah. to use their time because their and time that's costs. the thing. You have to figure out what do you want to invest. Like, do you want to invest your time with people or do you want to invest your money with, like, let's say, a business to get shit done? Like, let's say for us, in, mm. <clears throat> let's say our, our two ways um, that we're, like, growing ours right now. So how it's kind of describing it, like, yours is, like, on the ground with it, like you're with, you're in it with the people. You're out, you're out here kissing the babies with it and shit. And then I'm kind of learning the process from like the like actual, actual like process level, you know, function level. So, um, like, ah, oh, damn, what was I going with that one? That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good <laughs> we one. Yeah, about? it was a good one. What were we talking about? We we was talking about ah oh, damn, nigga. <laughs> it was a good one too. My bad. My bad. My bad. No, but good. I was just ah, it was something good. But you said uh. I was on a like ground the, level. Yeah, getting that knowledge from that level. And, and, and then we're talking about a process level. Ah, we'll, we'll hop back to it. No worries. My bad. <laughs> hey, but here's the good thing. My bad, y'all. It's our damn show. We can do whatever the fuck we right. want to do. <laughs> you know that circle back, though. You got to exercise it, it that works, circle it back. Works. You know, the circle back, it, but it's hard to do when you smoking. Oh, yeah, it is. It and is. we smoking, smoking. We smoke, we smoke a little bit. We, smoke a little uh, bit. We, we, we were definitely talking about, if I'm not mistaken, we were talking about like, having a team and then getting your mental right in order to relinquish. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, the circle back. Circle back. Hey. <laughs> so deciding whether you want to, because, okay, <clears throat> let's say dealing with people on the ground level, right? The efficient it, the, is, is, is great, but the efficiency may not be there because you don't know if somebody's going to be thorough about their side of the partnership. You know what I'm saying? Right. And rather, and that's one way of thinking about it, but it's a come up together. You know what I mean? It's like a really I know you type of shit. It's, it's really personable, which is very valuable to a growth of a business. You know what I mean? Like, like super that's incredible. what people really want. Right. However, it can come with things like, uh, oh, yeah, man, let's do this. Let's do this. And do you call them up and it's nowhere to be found, nowhere to be seen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And there can be a lot of that trying to do it that way. And um, or. But another way you can do it, let's say you want to pay a business to just handle all your stuff. Now, that costs a lot. That costs more money, of course. And you got to, like, deplete your shit and just really get on your grind level either. Right. But your shit's going to be efficient. And no talk back. And, uh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no talk back. <laughs> this is my and who vision. the fuck is you talking to, nigga? I told you. <laughs> No, nigga, we going left. Nigga. I'm, I'm recording left. That's what I said. I paid you. With it. So it's so many ways. You that's get, a good point. But it's, it's trying to understand those two things. And But I think that's what I meant by comparing uh, the two ways um, that we're approaching is like those two ways are so fucking valuable for like, like a, approaching those together, like combining both of those things together. You know what I mean? Having, but it's, it's just interesting trying to figure out how much to put into both ways, both lanes, if that makes sense. See, I heard something once that somebody was like, know enough about this something, know enough about everything, so then someone can't fuck you. But that that might be okay. a, is that a that's a fucked up mindset. Okay, give me give me more on that. What you mean? Like for that? instance, if you're not a mechanic, uh-huh. and you're like, damn, my damn car don't start, right? So you go to a mechanic, and they know you don't know shit. Right. They charge you five hundred dollars for something that cost you. T- took them 20 seconds right 
You know what I'm saying? But if I knew about, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, this ain't five hundred dollars, nigga. I, mm-hmm. I know for a fact that I did this. It's, it's one hundred and fifty. Right. So my point is, is you would want to know. I feel like you would want to know the knowledge. Yeah, you would want to know for sure. For sh- right. That's what I was thinking. Damn, I'm like, you just hitting gems. That's what I was just <laughs> thinking about today. Even with uh, this digital marketing program that I'm doing right now, it's like I just just to get the knowledge is is most of the shit. Like, <laughs> if I could just get that only, I'd be great. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gemming it up over here. Like I'm just Robin Hood in it, pretty much. And you, and you know what's funny? Niggas be talking about uh, like those sayings. They call it cliches. Yeah, them cliches be hitting. Oh yeah, they do. But but people make fun of them. Nah, they do. Ain't that fucked up? People yeah, are like, oh, that's it's cliche. Like that's a bad thing. No, nigga, there's a reason why it's a cliche. Yeah, it's it's gems. It's gem city. Like like for instance, the golden rule, right? Mm-hmm. People be like, oh, you know, to me, that's literally the golden rule. Like, I've, it, you treat people how you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. To me, that why would you ever do anything outside of that? Mm-hmm. Some people don't agree with that, which is crazy. Oh, yeah, we talked about that. I don't remember that. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, or, or what's another one? Like a, a saying, what's a saying that everyone knows, but this kind of goes, yeah, we know. Like, you can you can catch more flies with honey than with piss and vinegar or some shit. You ever, you ever heard that? <laughs> the fuck? Dude, something like you can catch more flies with honey than with piss and vinegar. <laughs> I guess I ain't never tried to catch a fly. Oh, but, but you understand what they're saying? Uh-uh. Like flies will go to honey so by being sweet then, then, then you can catch flies with piss and vinegar. The idea you can't is... Get, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, the idea is like flies are going to go towards the sweet shit. Oh, okay. And it'd be easier to catch them, and because it's sticky and it's just sweet and sticky, and right, right, right. so be kind. In other words, don't be an asshole. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the, but my point is, people, you might look at that and go, "Ha ha!" But that's really that to me makes sense, though. Mm. Be a dope individual, and then you know, good shit happens to you. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the the more cool you, and don't get me wrong, I've I've done dumb shit to people before in the past. Not proud of it. But in my adult life, shit, 30 and on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, treat people, just just be, just be, like, righteous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't mm-hmm. don't don't go out of your way to be ridiculous. And sometimes you want to fuck a nigga up. Mm-hmm. But I, I've learned that, yeah, so why would you not want to be an, a kind person? Right. But see, you can't guarantee that when you're talking about conducting the business, necessarily, because people... They they do dip out like we you already experienced it pretty much sometimes you know so you you mean wait wait what do you mean you mean I'm talking about when you were talk, when um when conducting business on the ground level I don't know but what do you mean though how people can how people can be here one day and then go on tomorrow with the business side of it well I was talking about just like just being a good person right. That's and that's what I meant by comparing it when you're being when you're we're talking about originally uh conducting the business, right? And like having people run it versus having yourself uh be a, like connect start from the bottom with it type right, of shit. Right. You know what I mean? And then running into that aspect of it and trying to deal with not trying to deal with, but trying to figure out how much do you allow Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Because you you want to know what the fuck's going, you want to you know right right you want to know what's going on and stuff and you want to be kind of you want to make sure that your end is like shit is going smoothly and whatnot so it's just like how much do you delegate? Now, well, see, I okay something that now now that we're ta- having this talk, if someone was clearly better than me and I respected them in the field that we're talking about, yeah, I think that I would shut the fuck up and just trust. That's yeah, and that should be with everything. It should right right. It right. should at, at this point it should be with every single thing. You should just shut the fuck up and operate. Right, right, right. Like, or like, if, like if someone else is, like, putting you on. Like, for instance, someone's, hey, man, this is how you do the podcast behind the scenes. Let me show you this. And so instead of me going in there with this ego, mm-hmm. like, no, nah, let me know, which is, I think, with a little bit of a, like, oh, I'm learning all this shit. Like, no, nah, nigga, we creating a team. Right. And I don't know shit about it. So I, if I can get rid of my ego. Right. Okay, so you get, right. Because I was going to say, I, this is what you want. Right. Or is this is what you're trying to get to. More so, you think? This I would say I definitely want because I yeah. I think the number one thing because I'm about to say I would welcome that shit like you trying to tell me hell yeah let's get right, to right. it right which is yeah yeah so I'm all about I'm definitely understanding the team right right like they've been I, doing it for 
by the by the by the muscle by himself for a minute, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. how much how much further do you think you can get mm -hmm. by yourself? How you feel? Like, do you feel like you are there? Like, will you you need to kind of transition into something new? And yeah, I feel like I'm in, but I feel like I'm I've done it. I feel like I finally it finally clicked. Okay, that it's time to start moving it just different. It's not about like not doing it. It's about moving it differently. Yeah, it's like it's in order for it, it to scale. Yeah, in order for it to scale. So like you like it, it, like you cannot do it mm -hmm. because there's too much of my time is going towards one thing mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. could be going towards another. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, me physically making the shirts versus that time it takes to do that versus having someone else make them, but then that time I could focus on... Yeah. I, hey, bro, we... we are, you know we, what I'm saying? We are, <laughs> because I'm really... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> my boy. We could, but, but hold on. But there's a part of me that, like, man, the quality control is I know. point. I know. It is. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's a good, it that's what I'm saying. That's the battle. We don't, <laughs> the mud versus the... Even if it's somebody else or yourself. Or myself. If, if the mud we're going to do it, let's do it. Right. You know the bud, that. but then it's like, man. But I'm starting to understand. Like, all right, you putting a lot of time. Yeah, you starting to see why, how that happens. Yeah, e even even on a small scale, like uh, like the with the designs, and I put the design down in the beginning. I would be taking. I, I was so anal about the quality control, right? That I would be taking the ruler, da 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 da, da mm -hmm. and then I would and and I would get it straight. But I was taking like five min five ten minutes on one. Right. And and when and when you're in the beginning and when you're learning, that's cool. And when you right. only have one or two sales here right. and there. But then when them numbers come in, you realize how much your time You gotta make that shit. You gotta like, like you gotta find a way to like get a better system, mm -hmm. which is all about the system, get a better system to do it more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Because I can't just just um, just the twenty four hours in a day. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm starting to find now that I'm still working on is finally getting to a point and I'm not there hundred percent yet, but I know I'm going to be. Is like having one hundred percent control and organization of your time, you right? Because yeah. I'm because I'm That's so big on us. how much I'm, how much you're wasting versus how much you you you're investing versus how you know what I'm saying, and and it's like your time, and then you realize, oh shit, this week just passed. How yeah, much did you truly sure. get done? For sure, for sure. And and all the smart niggas that I'm listening to, and all these books that I'm reading. They all say, man, if if you can organize your day, yeah, that's and then have the discipline too. to stick to it, yeah, you can have whatever you want. I've been wanting to do that too. I've been wanting to actually set a nice schedule for myself for my day because just I'm picking up so many different things and to really set something and just this is my time for this part of it. This is my time for this part of it. Yeah. Right, and that's what, instead of just kind of like not living intentionally, like yeah, well, it's intention. It's, not, yeah, I know what it's, you mean. It's, I know what it's you more t more intentionally. Bam. That's yeah. what, you this know is what I'm the saying? time for that. Instead of saying, "All right, you know what? Let's work on like yeah," because that's how I've been freelancing it. That's what I mean. And this is like another version of just organizing it. So you can organize it yourself, or you can just say, "Shit, I want somebody else to organize, and I can just think it and press the buttons." So it's so many different ways to do it. Right. But 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 it, it but it ultimately comes down to you just gotta unfortunately you just gotta just do it. You do. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta do it. I, and that's the thing. I think it's it's so many ways to do it, but ultimately to scale it, you're gonna have to do it that like Or that even way. something like this, D. So like, you know, I'm I'm trying to understand how to what to write off, what not to write off. I'm learning that like anything related to the business side, you have to, you know. And then you have to be intentional with like for instance the mileage. With taxes, which and I'm learning one of the, anybody who listening. I just read this a few times. the 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 trick is to what's the what's the number one thing you've probably paid for? What's the most expensive thing in your life and ever? What have you put the most money towards? Probably. Um, at one time, probably like a probably like a no 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 not not. I'm talking about just all together since since you've ever spent your own money. Uh, well, I would say taxes. The most of most of our money goes towards tax. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Right, right. So just think about how much money that is. Okay. Even every time you buy a coke, that's mm -hmm. a little bit of your money. You go every mm -hmm. time you know, every time you pay your taxes, there's a little bit. So just in all the years, mm -hmm. that's just a lot of money. Yeah. He said that the, they all say the trick is to find a way to pay the least amount of taxes legally, obviously. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's what the wealthy do. And that, and it's like that's cra- that's a crazy new thought. Like, oh, the the trick is to find. Yeah, that's how you the yeah. loophole, so yeah, to speak. It, it's, it's, a lot of times, it's not even about making more money. It's about just how to how to not pay as much money. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then, then, then I'm like, oh, so that's so. Anyways, the reason I bring that up is because I'm like, all right, well now I'm going to get the mileage from my gads. Like if if, if it's you know, so like I'm writing it down each time. Mm-hmm. Each time I drive that has anything to do with cares none. I write that mileage down because I know I can get I can write some amount off per mile. Mm-hmm. And it's it's all legal. And I, at the end of the day, if you got it written down, you're really good because they right. know you ain't bullshitting. But what is it about me that it's still a, sh- a struggle to remind myself to do it? Because you know what I'm saying? I think, the, okay, so what I'm learning is... Like 100%, is, like psychotic, yes. Right, but I think, I think we depend on our... I don't know, we depend on our... Man, I know we got these wants and desires, but we still just humans, man. Like we got, we can't be so hard on ourselves. But the real problem is actually is that we don't have systems in play to help us do that. Mm. That's, that's the real like, issue. Like having a team. Yeah, that's what it is. So you, that's the pain point. Figure out the pain point and just attack it. <laughs> hey. That's what it is. That's all it is. Like you got a pain point. That's what you need to solve. Go do it. Right. That's kind of what, like, that, that's kind of what it's been. Like, no matter, like, no matter, no what matter in is, what way, no matter in what way possible. Yeah. Like, say, oh, you got a weight issue. That's the pain point. Attack it. Yeah. Oh, you got to get your mind right. Attack it. Yeah. That is kind of true. That's kind yeah. of, <laughs> but, I but, do that. but, like, but I don't, I don't mean that in a way like from what your, your mileage thing. Like, I don't mean attack it. Like, just go harder. Just try harder. I mean, like, how, what other ways can you track it? Is it a, is it a automatic way? Some way you can track it? Is it a digital way? Is it a, Right, right, right. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like, let's use what we got out here. Like, this, like it's probably an app or some shit. Yeah, just reminder or, you, or, just, or some shit yeah, or just whatever. Just, just be smarter. Because right it. now, what I'm doing, and it's still better than yeah. with like 99.9% of Right. But I'll go in my phone and write the date, what time, what mileage I started at when I drove. So it'll be like 1763, da da da, dash. Uh-huh. And then when I'm done, and then write the end of it. And I do that every time. Okay. And my my thing, and I've done it like ninety eight percent. There's only a couple times I've missed since I've been doing it. Okay. My my question is, is how can I get it? Where why isn't it a hundred percent? I got I got. Why what? do I? Why how are you paying a, with it? Huh? How are you paying? What do you What do you mean? What are you using? You're using a card to pay. Yeah. Or are you yeah, using yeah, cash? You, when it has something to do with cash, now you use uh, always use a card. So how about this? Everything you do has to do with cares none. You know that's actually a, that's actually a great point, Chris. You know what? No, everything no, I, I, you on. have to do with driving has to do with cares none. That's how you do that. That's how you really do it. You know what? You uh, you just fuck no, me fuck up. all of that. That's what I mean. Attack the pain point and like just, bro. Everything you do has to do with cares none. Everything about driving is that. So everything, all you have to do is look at your credit card statement or whatever you're paying with, whatever you charged at the gas station. That was for cares none. See, but here's the problem. Oh, you mean like, so how do I go back and know what date it was? It's already in your, This everything is digital now. Everything keeps a log of every transaction so you you've said, ever, just go to your history. Go to your statements. Go to your history. All right, so here, here's the, the problem I'm having. Not even a problem, the the, the light that just struck. When, I remember I, yeah, I talked yeah. to that mentor, uh, the dude who paid, who bought me the state. For sure. Lamar. And he was like, uh, this is actually pretty powerful that you just said that the way you said it. He goes, and I was telling him, and I'm trying to do everything the right way, right? <laughs> he goes, your first problem is you ain't thinking like white folks. This is what God he said that. You know, like, what do you mean? He goes, white folks say, prove it. <laughs> prove that. Yeah, that they, absolutely. So here's my problem. My thing was, what if I used, uh, how do I know the, what specifically was being used for something cares none versus... Like if if to buy vitamins, can I write that off? Mm-hmm. If you if you if you want to choose that to be a provable thing, if That's you what want I'm to, you can you can. It prove, might be too small, I've, bro. I've been I've been having this. I've been writing stuff off of, for my business for years. I've I've written off trips and everything just because. I mean, this is part of my business. I've, if I'm a vid- videographer and whatnot, this is part of my business. I have to take a trip somewhere to go do that work. This right. is if I have I have a CTA. Uh, but you really did do it though. What if you really did not do it? 
Or did, no, I've spent the money for it, but who's to say that that wasn't for something else? Right. And that's why when these dudes bust out their card for the business cards. Who's to say it was for? Because they'll be like, I'll just write it out. Who's the fucking say? And, and all the white bro, motherfuckers. Bro, we got to start living. Like, stop. Know, start, right, bro, right. Dude, we got to really get and that's what he. Shit. That's what he was saying. He was like, you're trying to like. People are living over, like, look, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> they, it, you know, it's, uh, but it's, it, it's a crazy lesson because I'm like, look at me. I'm like, I'm trying to do it right. Right, you try to write the violence. So, like, yeah, no, so no, maybe no. I'm, I was making it too hard on myself because I did not know. Yeah, which also comes out to a lack of understanding yeah. and knowledge. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's all. It's like information is information is everything, like man. Crack, people, cocaine. But just know this: people who are really out here trying to get like getting this shit, they aren't working hard. They are not. They are not building systems out here. There's too many systems out here for them to be working hard. So if there's anything like this to do with them. Or that they have to do this type of shit, it's really not happening. It's always a better way. If there's a pain point, there's a better way. Somebody solved that already. <laughs> Which is crazy. I'm telling you, just figure that shit out. I'm telling you. Right. I'm telling you. Like, yeah, so whatever issue that I believe plus, that I can Plus, ha- also, I'm sorry to no, cut you off. I'm sorry. Ahead. Plus, also, with that, you got to you gotta really, you gotta really look at yourself as an equal to everything. And I mean, every business and every government official. Like, all this shit is just person to person. So don't be intimidated to like like you said, prove it. Right. Nigga, I took it I I spent money for gas on that. I had to take a trip somewhere because my cares none to have me go over there. I had to okay, prove that I didn't do it. Like what do you this is and this is how we look. I mean, this is how we run our system. How, it's a story how can, of it in law. How could they really prove take it? Take me to court. Take me to court, puto. Like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like you it prove to me. Take me to court. That's fine. <laughs> right, right, and if you right. want to go that far, and ain't nobody about to go that far because they got to put dollars into that. Like, be, think about this. Right, Come right, on, right. now. Ain't nobody about to do all this. It, it, right, right. You could talk about this now, uh, now, they would do that if they realize you're on some dumb shit. Like, you right now. Well, off. yeah, for sure. But who, if, is the United States government going to dig this deep? <laughs> they like, hey, let's, let's, get Chris. let's get this nigga Chris. He out here, nigga. He didn't, he didn't wrote off two damn bags of cookies. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> get his ass. <laughs> I'm about to write off all, do- all sweets. And I'm gonna say it's cares done. They can prove it. Cares done sweet. They can prove it with the damn goddamn. Uh, hey, anything? I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say which. Well, now you didn't fuck the oh, joke. <laughs> I was gonna add to it. My bad. I was hype. I was hype. My bad. We was getting it. We was getting it. I was gonna right, add it to your you, bread. You just destroy it. It's gone. It's oh, over. Bad. It's over. That's my bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. That's where jokes go to die. <laughs> That's my uh, bad. Yeah, so bad. No, but yeah, but like. But prove it. I'll never forget when he said that. He, he, I'll never. He goes. He looked at me dead in the eye. He's like, "You, you gotta start thinking like them." That's what the guy said that. And I, and I was like, "Damn, that's a bold statement." And he's and he's married to a white woman, so it wasn't even like he don't know other shit. Uh-huh. He legit. He's literally married. He just married a, a white woman. He was like, "You gotta start thinking like them." Mm. And I'm like, "Damn." He said he's been in in, in offices and rooms and shit with some people that. Where the situation's so fucked up. Same thing with Steve in some of these business you know, situations where the other guy is like, I'm you're getting fucked right now, but prove that I didn't. Like it's that in your face. Like yeah. some people don't like oh, yeah. that. And you know, especially if they think if they know they got you by the balls. That's because they understand. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They right understand there. their <laughs> equality. They understand, like, they're not scared of this. Like they if you understand the law and shit, like you understand that this is just some it's just like you. It's just paper. Like prove it. That's just but, the but, system. But, there's, of it. but I'm talking about to another human being. Yeah, because of the law, though. But my point is, is like and the human. Like, but that's equal. that's ruthless to me. To know that, yeah, I'm fucking you over, but what you gonna do about it? Prove it. Yeah, that's the system that's just we saying. Live in. So my point is, that goes back to the golden rule for me. That goes against right my beliefs in the golden rule. Mm. Someone who's willing to say, "Yeah, we fucked you over, but what you gonna do about it? You gonna have to pay us. The, as a matter of fact, you gotta pay us more. Right? And what you gonna do about it? Mm-hmm. I mean, what you gonna fight me? You know what I'm saying? And like, they've said they've been in rooms where that where it's been that energy. Oh yeah. And I just can't even fathom that thought of doing business that way. No. Like, but there's people out there that do. Like, I I generally want this shit to thrive and, the, like, I want the, the positive energy mm-hmm. because I believe in that shit. So, is something like that? Oh, no. That sounds, like the, that sounds like the like the world's worst existence. Like, this is a girl at, uh, at Export. Shout out to Export. She, uh, she's got, like, this resting bitch face, bro. 
vicious. Like, mm. and she just mad, right? And I guess it could just be her face. But let's just say it's not. And she's just aggravated for whatever reason. It could, it could be she's getting annoyed by dudes. I, it, whatever. She's obviously frustrated. And, and she's like, man, fuck this. You can feel the energy. Like, that, I feel bad for her. Because, like, I... And, I can't, like, smiling to me feels good. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like it feels good to smile and then make a smile back. I get energy from that. So I, I couldn't be in an existence that may, or not for too much longer. I, we learned that with my last job. Like, if you feel like shit, man, I, I, I don't, I'd rather, I'd rather feel good on, I'd rather feel like shit on my terms, if anything. Yeah. I don't want to feel like shit and it ain't my, and it ain't working towards my goal. Like, it's going to be pain regardless. So why not do the pain of the shit that's going to be benefit you right. and, and get what you desire as opposed to the pain of just being stuck in a miserable situation? And that's fucking painful, too. Mm-hmm. Mentally, which is the worst pain. So mm-hmm. it's like changing my mindset. And that's what I've been doing. And uh, mm. it's been like the the my, like mental work and, and reading and shit, all that shit that I used to like laugh and make fun of is the key. You were laughing at the keys this whole time? Yeah, kind of, you know, like, oh, why would you read the book? Like, read the book? I used to think that shit was dumb as fuck. I used to always think that. Like, why would you read the book when they got a movie? <laughs> like, like, I'm not reading the book, you know? And then I'm like, oh, no. And then w- once that shit's clicked over the years and all the successful people read, right. which is they tried to tell you. They tried to tell you, it's good. nigga, get your read on. I'm telling y'all. And the issue, too, is we probably, because reading books that they turned into movies is not what your knowledge is trying to get to now. It's also had a different pace. Like, you're trying to get to a knowledge that's different than something that they put in the movie. That's a good point. You know? You're that's reaching out point. different, like, the help books, the you know, like. I mean, reaching the, the amount of, of, of value so I've out there. gotten from books. Yeah, it's just this year. Crazy, just this year. <laughs> Not even 2020. Right, 2021. It's like wow. And I do a lot of audio books, but it's, you're still, it's still mm-hmm. getting something from it. It's like there's a reason why everyone says these are the top ten books. Read all those. That's what you do. Start off with the top ten books that everyone's got to read, and I promise you, your life just whatever, <laughs> right. whatever you. I'm seriously. Yeah. Just think about the top ten books. Like, go on, go you. on Google. <laughs> type in top ten books you got to read. To, to better your life. Right. Read them and I promise you, mm-hmm. your life will be better. Mm-hmm. At least. 100%. <laughs> because it's going to, and then, well, here's the key though. Repetition. I, I'm kind of big on the repetition. So I, a lot of times I got to see, like I'm reading that one, I'm listening to the one book again, The 16 Law of Success. It was that good. Yeah. It was that good, nigga. That I read, I listened to it and it was 27 hours. And I'm like, I want to listen to it again just mm-hmm. about two months ago. And I'm like, because I know that you're only getting how much of it you really retain. Yeah, for sure. So I know I'm just going to be a gem that I'm going to get. And I'm going to just keep getting like, what? Mm-hmm. Or here's some shit that I knew. But some, oh, you know, what? I got to get my shit together on that. Right. It's applying like those same principles that we apply to music and movies and all the other arts and shit. Just applying it to that type of process. Like, watch this shit again. Let me. Oh, man, that shit is fire. Let me turn that shit on again. You know what I mean? Let me kick this game again real quick. 27 hours, let's go, you know? Oh, and I want to talk about that, too. I'm glad you said that the game. I forgot which one of us mentioned, like, life. It's like, it, it really is the game of life. Mm-hmm. It feels like a game. It feels like, if, and like, do I got to figure it out? Absolutely not. But <laughs> it, it's, it seems, it's like a game. It's like a Grand Theft Auto. No, no, even better, The Sims. I feel like life feels like The Sims. And then you can like, you can kind of finagle shit once you get the um, the knowledge of it. Once mm-hmm. you start to understand, like deeper understandings of stuff, because people have already figured it out before you. Yeah. Then you can like start to really mold what the fuck you, your reality is. It it, it might take some yeah. work, but but you physically can do it. Yeah, it's like you can unlock shit. And yeah, it, it's like a levels. fucking game. <laughs> or you can be shitty at the game and not give a fuck or yeah. whatever. And, and it, it throws hurdles like a motherfucker. And you can be the hurdle a lot of times too. That's the thing about being you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's most time. I feel yeah. like I feel like I'm the hurdle most of the time. Yeah, 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 for sure. Ain't nobody holding me back from shit. If anything, mm-hmm. motherfuckers have just supported me my whole fucking life. Mm. Real, real talk. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, Real talk. I get nothing but my, literally. And that's, oh man, I'm glad you said that. That's like full just system supporting you, supporting, get, you know what I mean? It makes it hard to, it pacifies you. Now, let me ask you this. There's obviously people out there that would be like, man, no one's ever supported me. Mm hmm. Is that just? Do you think we all are, are supported at some degree, but you just have to be you have to see it and notice it, or do some people get supported more than others? I can't knock somebody for saying how much they support. I can't tell somebody they're not supported as much as they think. Like I, I can't. Yeah, I can't tell somebody that. Truthfully, like yeah, I don't yeah, know. I, I don't know everybody's I situation. Right, right, right. <laughs> I can't tell you how much like, support what if you, you got. Really, and and if, I don't even know what if that's the case. I don't know what support is if that's the case. Yeah, because what if you were just in a room, by like you were born in a room. <laughs> <laughs> and you never got to leave the room and nothing, nobody, not a, you never met a person and they kept you alive on a feeding tube. You wouldn't know what support is. Right. <laughs> like it's ridiculous. But, it, but, but it's support keeping me alive on a feeding tube. <laughs> That's a good, well, I was, it's from a person is what I was saying. No, I'm just, but so, or so support in general. Yeah. But I mean like from people though, cause I know like people is a, is a motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like I've just, people have always supported me. Like, but do you think that's just a that's because people are supportive, or because maybe my energy reciprocated that? Yeah, I think it's a reciprocation type of thing. Because I've always been willing to support motherfuckers, so I've always gotten support back. Right, you know, yeah. just on some realistic, you do me right, I do you right, shit. Like in that the golden rule. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I've always got support because I've always fucked with that. Yeah, you do right by niggas. Niggas tend to do right by you. Simple as that. Tend to. Tend to. <laughs> <laughs> but then here's the dope shit. When the sh when some shit goes wrong, now that's a p you've just learned something. Yeah. W whether it be about that person specifically or maybe maybe you could have done something differently. So, like, even when something shitty happened, and maybe this is the optimistic person to me, but even when that shit happens, oh, God, best believe there's some information in there. Yeah, for sure. And you can just... see. You just value the information for what it is, good or bad and whatnot, but you take it with you. And when you're comfortable with yourself, shit, you just take it as a lesson and move forward with it. You don't let it have, you know, it doesn't have to rock you necessarily. It, it stumbles you and whatnot a little bit, but it doesn't have to rock you off, off your shit. You just take it as a learning lesson and move forward with it. So did you, do you think that's a trait that has to be learned then? It's a growth trait, for sure. Yeah, right? yeah, it's definitely a growth trait because you, you realize, I think that comes with what you said earlier with repetition. You realize that shit's gonna happen. Not everything's gonna go smoothly, but that's that's the story of everything. That's the story everything, of life. Yeah, of every, life. Yes. every single thing you've watched has been this. Yes. 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 It ain't every no, single thing. Nothing's you, this. Nothing. Nothing's this. Nothing. It's all fucking everything. This. Even if the person at the way top, they Rihanna just was, reached yeah. a billionaire, right? But she she still got one of these. Everybody got one of these uh, to their story. So like literally one hundred percent. Exactly. Everyone. Yours too. Yours too. Yours too. So. Do, 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 it's all relevant. Do, just, just for the sake of uh, the podcast, are you? Does that make you selfish if you, if you think motherfuckers, like if you think that you, 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 your story of this up and down is like so big and mighty, like oh man, my shit's so fucked up, but it's like everyone's shit's fucked up. So is it a selfish act to be like oh man you know my shit's so fucked up but it's like nigga you know like literally literally everyone shit's fucked up yeah yeah and and then and i and think i heard everybody shit is everyone <laughs> shit's fucked up everybody everyone's shit going is. through this 100% yeah, we, all are. we really all are i try to be honest about that shit when i when i post like no nah, nigga no. today was a rough fucking day right and i'm still on and with me personally all, all the shit i'm unlearning it's i feel like i'm in a a jacket of disgusting Ooh, trash, <laughs> bad habits. Ooh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, ba yeah. Bad ideas. I'm like, uh, and again, this is a story. I guess we believe at the end of the day. But no, but still, it's something we believe in, right? So I'm like, man, and, and shit that I at one point I believed so strongly, and 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 I believe like literally 180 degrees a different way now, and yeah. but I believe even more strongly. It's <laughs> like whoa, and and I and it, it could be another thing. Like ten years from now, that I believe something more, you and know? I can't wait for those. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> I know, like, wait, what's the next big one? Right, this shit got me excited. Like, yeah, can't wait for the would, next. Would, year. would you say that it feels like? Would you say you're on a, a an extreme path of self development? Mm -hmm, for sure. Right, I, I was. I would argue that I am as well. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it's almost daily. You feel you get like it's a it's a high. It, 
is it an addiction? Are we addicted to it? Yeah, that's why I know I need to kind of do the operation shit, man. I feel like I'm I'm just at a peaking point where I just need to transition <laughs> and put it into play. Like, cause it's just it's just this 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 man. It's just the transition that needs to happen. I and, feel and it, it almost feels like it's, it's like I'm create. I've create. I've spent this last three years like really like you just optimizing shit, and I just see another window. To like get it, I don't know. It's just I just need yeah. To it's just it's, it, I, I feel creatively the up, really there. I feel like it's the upgrade. Yeah, and and here's the, here's the dope part about that. It whether or not someone else agrees with you or not, it don't fucking matter because you believe it. Oh yeah, and it, yeah, that's it's the, my own story. That's the strongest and it's your story to tell, regardless. But that's so powerful. I don't think I don't think people realize that they don't that like. Like if you really and again I I'm still scratching the surface of this shit sometimes for what is worth the, the the nigga who started cares not I still deal with that shit too. But what helps me get there is like nigga you you rep this and then then I it, then I can say yeah, cares not yeah, quicker. Yeah, but some yeah. people don't have don't something have that, that powerful yeah, to get them there true. every time, that's true. right? That's true. Um, like for instance, I was on the mic the other day for the uh, the pop up. And I hadn't talked on a mic in front of a bunch of people in a hot minute. Mm-hmm. You know, you, it's different from being seen on, on behind the screen yeah, a bunch sure. of times, which is still a thing, but it's different when there's, you know, 300 mm-hmm. eyes, eyeballs looking at you. So I went up there, and for a split second, I was like, that feeling of like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. But then I was like, nigga, the brand, like, you got to. Yeah. It, 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 and it, that feeling went away instantly. Mm-hmm. I was a little high. So okay. I wonder if that helped. That probably helped. But I walked up there and I gave my little two cents, whatever. But uh, but I need to do that more. Mm-hmm. I need to because that's obviously something different, something that's been bothering me, something that I actually, pain point. It's a pain point, and the way to for me to beat this pain point is to do it, attack it, right? Or and then talk to people who have done it, you know. And mm-hmm. there's there's clearly there's all kind of shit on public speaking. Yeah, and figuring out different ways. That's the, and, I'm like and Tavares is is, yeah. a, is has been a public speaker, right? Like, MC and shit, you know, and, and he gets he's comfortable with right, it. right. So and that's your main point right there, right? And, 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 and you point. know what's funny? And you know what's funny? It's like when when you when your life is focused, when you have a focus and a direction and a passion, and you go after it, then it's like all of a sudden shit just like mysteriously, uh, mysteriously kind of falls in your lap yeah. that will help you solve it. Maybe it's that we start pinpointing different things that we can, and different traits and different values and people that we can kind of see ourselves connecting with and whatnot. And it seems like it just opens up doors in that way. Well, and, I definitely or, felt that way with Tavares. Yeah. Because he, like I said, he was really good on the mic. Yeah. In front of a bunch of people was comfortable as hell. At least it but came off But even you that. understanding that that's a pain point, and to see him do that, that that, that connection, like maybe before you would have noticed that before. I don't think I did, yeah, I didn't really notice it until like kind of recently. That's what I mean. That's kind of the point, though. Like you didn't even notice it before, before, but because you're locked in on some other aspects, you even you get to lock in on this. Like, oh shit, this is something I struggle with. Damn, he's good at that. Before it would have just passed your mind that he was even good at that speaking. Right. You know what I mean? For sure. So it, it's cool to have their self focus, like you said, when you have a focus, and then you can meet somebody else who's focused. And then they have a certain energy that you needed to, you know, help with. Like, damn. Especially if, I ain't it's, even... especially if it's on the piece that fits what you need to do yes, perfectly. Yes, yes. And then you notice it like, oh, shit. And you got... Damn, okay, cool. Yeah, that's clearly so, yeah. how I felt. It was, even with you, with yeah. the podcast. Yeah, kind of. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, because we said this, what, back when we first met. Like, this is yeah, a podcast every ago, time we talk. Every time we talk, we talking about something. Like 2015, at least. Literally every time. <laughs> yep. I ain't never been like, damn, I got to talk to this nigga to hear again. I've never <laughs> felt that way. Well, hopefully you haven't. I've never felt that. I've always got the phone, this I've <laughs> always been super pleased. Uh, not pleased. Uh, I've been super like, damn, that was a val- very valuable talk every time I left. Yeah. Fucking with you. Yeah. Uh, to this day, I, don't, I think we talked about the Seattle trip, but. Man. That, that trip will always. That'll be one of my top couple for sure. Mm. And I've gone on a lot of trips, too. Just like you, yeah. When you've been to a bunch of places, it's hard to pick a top three. Yeah, it is. It is. But that one's definitely up there because it got me out of my comfort zone and it got me around you, just nothing but you for three days mm-hmm. and your energy. Yeah, that was full and, and of then, me, and, my and, energy too. And, 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 it, and it helped me that was with full of my energy. It helped me be okay with exploring more. I got comfortable with exploring. So then my next vacation with me and Steve, we explored Nashville. Mm. I actually, and that felt different. Like, mm. oh, let's go check it out. Mm-hmm. Instead of before doing all the 
the touristy dumb shit at the right. hotel, right. go to the bars kind of thing. It's like, nah, nigga, let's go experience it. Right, right. Let's see, let's see Nashville. You know, let's go see. Right? Yeah. And, there, and me and him did that, and it was a dope. Ad. It was yeah. arguably one of my favorites too. But your trip was the trip that started me on that because mm, mm. I was always like, man, anybody trying? I want to go. I, I, even to, in, in Chicago, I haven't seen all the shit. Boy, you about to, boy. Like the Bean, I think I just drove past it once. Wow. Swear to God, wow. think about that. Man, I, and that's like where everyone comes to Chicago. You go to the Bean, right? Yeah, yeah. I lived here my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it for the first time like last week. <laughs> like I, I still don't know what street that I'm is. About to say, I skip by it, like every other week and shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I remember you. You opened me up yeah. to a whole new understanding. You know what actually really opened me up to a new understanding? What's that? Was Joe Rogan's podcast. Mm. Yeah, that was a big one. Or maybe YouTube, but but anyway, here's what happened. A buddy, my, I was into some conspiracies and shit. It's just, <laughs> it just interesting. It was some stories. It was some yeah, stories, and, yeah, and then my one of my buddies was his name was Larry. Shout out Larry was like, "Hey man, he knew that we used to have talks about conspiracies." Larry, Larry, and, uh, yeah, yeah. oh my boy Larry, yeah, Larry, Larry. Yeah. Shout out Larry, shout out Larry. Uh, that nigga. So we was like, <laughs> so we would always have these talks, and me and him and I always had great conversations. You know what it is? I be having great conversations with motherfuckers. That's what it is too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put my little fifty cent in on that. No, but anyways, uh, so him and I would always have some dope ass talks, and then one day he goes. I know you're into conspiracies. You got to check out this podcast. Mm. And I had never really watched a podcast at that time. And it was Joe Rogan and this dude named Alex Jones. And uh, and I watched it. It was four and a half hours. He's like, All right. I watched it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that shit twice. And in like two days, four and a half hours. That's, that's an huge investment. Right? That's the shit I just saw fucking a few, a few hours ago. And but I remember how much like I was like Whoa, all this knowledge from yeah. this it, I was just like damn I just felt this mm. rush of new knowledge, so then I'm like oh okay this is Joe Rogan fool let me see so then I looked at a couple of, you know his catalog and I'm like oh okay this dude sounds interesting yeah and it was like somebody famous and I was like oh that's a dope okay this is what they do this is a podcast like, this is what it is so yeah. it, but then I'm, this whole time I'm getting the value from all this shit mm-hmm. Joe Rogan shit clearly gets value because. He gets paid 150 million. You know what I'm saying? Right. Clearly, it's valuable, <laughs> obviously. But my point is, is I was getting all this value and then learning his shit. And it was Joe Rogan because he brings on such different kind of people. Right. You'll have a rapper, then you have a comedian, then you have this nigga who was a scientist for the coyotes. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and anything. I'll be like, anything. Or the nigga who's in the milk and the dairy industry, or, you know, and, and all of a sudden, I'm like, damn, I didn't. So I was just getting this. Thirst for this, like, oh, this, and I just all of a sudden I was like, this new shit, mm-hmm. and yeah. then and then all of a sudden you get a couple of the inspirational, inspirational cats he'd bring on, and I'm like, and it was Gary Vaynerchuk was like the business side, and I'm like, okay, so I started following him, I liked his energy, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it's just this web of just more knowledge, and I'm like, wait, the more I retain this much, is the more I bring it in, the better my life's getting. Yeah. So why would I ever stop? And then, then you listen to them it, more focusedly, and they all say you never stop learning. Yeah. Until and, the day and you, you die. Realize that's the commitment now. Yeah, it's just like I'm always gotta learn something new. It's always. And as soon as you think that you learn, go figure some. It, and that's all the tax write off. <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> but think about. But that's a different mindset, though. Most niggas yeah, don't even know I to know, think like this I way, know, bro. I know, they have no I know. clue. I don't even have a clue, and I know I have a little clue. Right, I get it. I like get I'm it. just I want I'm, us to have, you know. That. But but and think and think about it. I've put a lot of time personally in 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 listening to business people, entrepreneur people, money people, all just all a lot of hours, and I'm still like it's still like it's still cloudy. Yeah, yeah, it's like because yeah. it's not a game that can just be learned. Like, there's a reason nah, they go gotta to school, invest. right? You, you gotta really got to invest in this shit. Like, it's some real shit out here because it's so much, man. It's so much money out here. I'm just talking about just just on some money tip shit. Like, just, just trying to take care of your um your stability and whatnot. It's so much stuff floating out here that you gotta you gotta understand like how business is done first because like 
in so many ways to make it like as we like we were talking about earlier as we're starting to learn more we're starting to learn that there's other ways to even make <laughs> even more money or different parts of businesses that you didn't even that think about really think like about. a web domain or something like, like it'd be right. it'd be some crazy shit like man they get money off of this too or, yeah, this or like, like the event this? spaces yeah yeah and yeah. the fact that it's easy yeah yeah and it's like so many industries that you're now opening up to just because you're watching these things and it's webbing off of that and it's crazy and, and here's and, and here's another tip. Like we were talking about this on the phone the other day. Shout out to our hour and forty eight minute convo. That, oh, yeah. and, and it was easy. Yeah. Shout out to us, right? <laughs> uh, but when it comes to we were talking about uh, the podcast or or anything that you're trying to learn, definitely start with YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's the way to start. And to be honest, you'll probably always dabble in YouTube forever. Yeah, always. But there's gonna but then you're gonna take in a lot of knowledge. And that's going to be good. And then all of a sudden, you're going to be starting to make moves. And that's going to be good. There's going to come a time where it's the knowledge that you're getting is either not organized enough or it ain't detailed enough to get you to a yeah, different level. Yeah, that's true. Very where true. you're going to need to talk to somebody. You're going to, know, you're going to need to know exactly what you need. Right. Like, you're going to need to know more specific and, yeah, continue to do it. You see what I'm saying? And then, and then you're going to have to – and then that's where you, now you have to invest. Yeah. That's when investment. You have to you have to invest probably financially to to get into these rooms and talk to the people who know what the fuck you need. Yeah. Whatever it whatever it is, and and maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe there's some situations where you just walk. You just you maybe just be in the room with with like let's say he's a conference or something. Right. And the guy who you would love to talk to is is on stage, but so maybe there's a chance you meet him in a hallway or something, which could be dope. But. But the chances are to, to really go talk to that dude, right. you got to figure that either be you know we're not trying to play the lottery. A lot of people aren't here. that's and I guess that's what I meant to play. A lot of people aren't out here playing the lottery, y'all. It's it's sold to us to play the lottery because this is America. We are supposed to be like, I don't know, I just blew up out of nowhere, child prodigy. But most people are putting the time, effort, and and energy, money, whatever have you, all their shit into this shit. You know what I mean? And they're they're, they're doing stuff like this. Um, I think the way that we can help people to think about themselves and, and investing in this type of shit. So let's say you don't have a cares none or a pretty cool apes, right? Because we understand that that's always a good thing to fall back on mentally even. Think of yourself as like the brand, the business. Like you are valuable enough to even invest that type of investment, mm. financial investment to get the knowledge. Like you really are because you are this whether you have this in your mind yet or not. You ha- you know what I mean? You mm. have pretty cool apes. You have cares none in you. That is like... That's a that's a part of you. That is you. You just don't haven't probably found a way to express it best yet, you know. But the investment and the knowledge and the education should always be there. And don't be afraid to really put that investment down because that that is you. That that is a business. Because you know sometimes people struggle with. Well, I don't have what you have. I don't have this all figured out. But it's like you don't. But you don't know what that knowledge can open up for you. And, and here's the thing, and I hear this all the time. Like nigga, no matter what you do. No matter what you do, you're going to be shitty at it when you first start. You will. Just like, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people, especially someone like a creative, especially for a creative or an artist or any kind of artist, when you know, like, damn, I, I really fuck with this, but it, should I put it out there? Mm-hmm. It's like, you, it, it's going to be shit compared to what it's going to be like 10 years from now. So, like, when you're starting some new shit or you're worried about people going to see, like, I know what you're thinking now, but I promise you that when you look back on it from literally three months yeah, or a be. year, you're going to be like, damn, it's so much better. Because cause now you lived intentionally towards that. Mm-hmm. So then it's going to just, like, like exponentially get better. My first video, to me, is cringe. As far as what it compared to today, yeah. I still love it because it reminds me of like, ooh, that feeling. Yeah, we all feel that when you first start, mm-hmm. when you first put the shit out. So just, and that's where the cares none comes in. This is why I believe this is the truth. This is why, and I've said it again. I'll say it again. Hey. The reason why cares none is dope is because at at some degree, every single human being walking has thought at t- to some degree about another motherfucker's opinion. Based on the societal, like the society thing, just mm-hmm. that alone, mm-hmm. being part of society, you, you want to stay within it. So then, I think maybe there's a part of us, you know, genetically or deep down, that you probably should give a fuck, you know, right. to stay within the society. Yeah. 
You don't want to be the outsider. Um, th- that's probably what, what our brains and our, our systems telling us. Right. But, and I'm cool with that on some, some shit, except the ones that come when it comes to doing shit that you want to do. Like if you want to be an artist, but another motherfucker says, nah, you can't be honest. They don't get paid no money or, or your parents or no matter who it is telling you not to do that. But you know, every ounce in your thing is, man. I just love to fucking do art, you know, and ain't gonna be great on the money. Da da da. That's the one you should go towards. Mm-hmm. Then and not the one. But 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 the reason why you're worried is because you're worried that people might. Oh, I love art and whatever, but uh, am I good enough to put it out? Am I worthy of putting it out? This other motherfucker, it's gonna look dumb. Look at then you're comparing yourself to another motherfucker like the best, and that shit's crazy. They got fifty thousand dollar paintings, and you can't compare to them because they were at you at one point. Right. So it's like all that shit that you're thinking that could go wrong, everyone has felt that. So it's like I you just have to beat that. Yeah. You, 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 that's and that's where Nike so that's where Nike comes in. That's why I believe cares Nike can be just as if not bigger than Nike because it's the thing you need right before just do it. Right, you need the cares none. You need the done. cares none about that just do it. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, together it works perfect. Right. To me, just do it is to be dope if I if I'm being right, honest. Right, and I get you. But I still believe in my heart, and it's just my belief and my story, that you need to care none right before to be dope. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of us aren't being dope because they're worried about other motherfuckers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm too worried about looking. And, and it, like, especially when you were creative. You're so, you know, a lot of us are so worried about what they think, man. So we're so worried. And then and, and the lessons that I've learned is motherfuckers really don't give a fuck because they're so focused on themselves. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get their own. Think about your life. How about this? Think about your life and and how big it feels to you, right? Like, damn, you know, I got a lot of shit going on. I got this. It feels big to you because it's it's your movie, right? right? Every single person's got that. Every single individual. (laughs) Every every, Every every single individual you've ever walked by. Ever seen ever. sat on the plane, a bus. They this they whole movie. They got a whole movie going on. And they kinda to some degree thinks it revolves around them. Mm-hmm. Cause it's your movie. Why would it not? Like not you're it not does an asshole. Around, like, like in, in this brain does. of mine, it feels like, damn, I'm the centerpiece. Yeah. That's what it feels like, right? POV. So everyone's felt that. So they're so focused on how big of that feeling is, they don't really give a fuck about what you got going on or what you're trying. And then, we've talked about this before, I'll say it again, there's, there will be some people that will probably notice and give you attention, but the fact that you're going to get it, you're going to get, like, the real the attention that you want. Like, motherfuckers going to want to be like, oh, okay, like, for instance, the big dude, and I'll say this, the big dude in the gym, the big girl in the gym, 400, but she's going, she getting it, though. She's in there hustling. Mm-hmm. The winners in the room all notice. Right. And she actually gets more love or he gets more love than, any, you know what I'm saying? Because cause they know, like, that motherfucker's really getting it. And I feel like when you're going after something, then all of a sudden you start to get more. So you'll get a little bit of that attention, right? So you get positive attention or no one gives a fuck. Like, at the end of right. the day, no one really cares. I've been blessed to think that I have a few people that kind of extend more than they big story. To, like, for instance, you, you'll you call me just randomly, like, hey, mm-hmm. man, just how you doing? But you need That's not part of your story. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're helping me with my story. Mm-hmm. And I've had a lot of that. So <laughs> I'm super blessed, right? But it's like you have to, you have to kind of control that yourself because no one really gives a fuck. Right. And I don't mean that. They, not because they mean. It's like they're too busy. So you got to give a fuck because mm-hmm. who else is going to do it? Nobody, nobody else. Though. Maybe, maybe your mom. But then, but, but here's the thing about them: they still have they big fucking life too. So they still, remember that big feeling, the movie we thing we talked about. They they feel that too. Now the good thing for you is parents, I think, do genuinely want to do right. Mm-hmm. But even in that situation, you could still laser more focus on yourself than anyone else could do for you. So even if someone was giving you something. It still wouldn't be as good as if you personally went in there, got it out the mud, and laser figured it the fuck out. Then you get in real substance. Because what I've been learning, and I'm not there yet, but what I've been learning is when you bust your ass towards a goal and you receive the awards from attracting it, the success, right? 
That's not the reward. The reward is the person that we become to get that. Mm -hmm. Because now you're that person going forward. See what I'm saying? So like in, in order to be an entrepreneur or a business person, it, it's going to take a lot of different personality traits to do it successfully. Right. More often than not. And in order to get there, you're going to have to gain these fucking, you know, like for instance, that 16 laws of success. The killers probably have figured out a way, whether it be through their team or through themselves, all yeah. all 16 of them lessons they got. Yeah, it ain't necessarily all through themselves. Right. Necessarily. They might pay, they might pay someone else to right, do it. but they right. figured, right. So they said, oh, we, we got a problem with uh, control or self-control. We'll put the pin, we'll, we'll go attack the pain, pin, point. The pain points and figure out the self-control. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn, I can't remember to get to take these pills. Every day because it's too much. Now we'll make a go buy a little pill thing that puts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, the, like you said earlier, whatever your pain point. Oh, I love yeah. it. Said it. Whatever your pain point is, nigga, we can fix it. We can fix this shit, man. We are capable. And listen, and it, and I know here's the truth. This is what I'm going through. It feels daunting. If it's like, at least for me, it's like, damn, nigga. Like, the amount of energy it's going to take to do some shit that you really want to do, yeah. it's going to take a lot and it's going to be draining. Ooh. That's where the psychotic shit comes in. Yep. It's going to take a lot. It's and gonna it's, it's going to, that investment shit. we talked about in the very beginning, you're going to have to invest. <laughs> you have to do it. You know, like it, it, it takes money to make money. Well, it, it takes investment to make it. You know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like that. Yeah. It's going to take something. And then, it, but if, and if it takes, if you can't afford to, to fix the pain, the pain, the pain point, then you, until you get to that point, you need to be looking for every other option or get on your ass and fix it. Yeah, you got, you got that's not, there's no other option. Right? It's or not. or find, uh, or pay, find, get the money to pay for the nigga who can fix the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's what it's going to come down to. And that's the only way you're going to scale. That's the only way you're going to scale your life. You can and do a lot by yourself, perform. especially if you go hard, but there's going to be a point. And I guess I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, like always. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> It, you're gonna have to scale this up, and you cannot do it by yourself, nigga. Mm-hmm. You cannot do it by yourself. You're gonna have to take other niggas' ideas. You're gonna have to listen to other niggas. You have to trust other niggas, which is probably the biggest one. You're gonna have to just, just literally, and and then believe in other niggas. What's your okay? You, mm, you got a pain point there. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a pain point. That's what I'm talking about. How can you solve that? What are some options for you to solve that pain point? I would say trust in other people. Oh, the the trust in other people? Yeah, be just or Ah, uh-huh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that part? That because that's be- the real pain point of of opening up for Not necessarily cuz there could be a pain oh for Well, no. I I I guess like if, for instance if if I went to Nike to design my shit, I would trust that they would give yeah, me some dope that. designs. True that, true so that. it's So like I trust that. I mm-hmm. guess it's just a matter of who would you trust? Maybe that's what it is. You know, and then maybe seeing the work, and then maybe I maybe I have to, which typically is going to cost money if they're that that much better to me. And that's not necessarily true. Somebody who's just playing around on a spare time could be way better than me in the editing. Yeah, so for that's sure. not true. For sure. I would argue more often than not, though, to get the kind of work that I need done leveled up is going to take that kind of right person that that has the skill to do that. And that takes probably if that's the level up that you need, it takes a. An, with your situation, it would take the rethinking money, right? Right. Right. Right, which is ultimately the keys to get, have your finances together. So then you, you it just can helps now you get so much shit in order. Right. So then you can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it helps because you got to do it because you, you got to have it right. in order. But see, now you, because your financing ain't in order, 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 now there's another uh, pain point there. Yeah. So if you fix the one pain point that can handle all these little pain points, now you can get to the, the deeper pain points. Yeah. And it'll all smooth. Like, it, you just got to attack life's pain points. Got to attack life's pain points. But that just because it's daunting don't mean you just got to do it. Yeah, you just got to do it. And and check this you out. Th- then there's momentum. Mhm. And that's movement. That's life. It's supposed to be mobile. It's it's you know, that that's your story. Your story is to get this shit done. <laughs> you know? As right. much as you can. Right, right. 100%. And, and it feels as as though if if here's what it comes down to, man. If you're not going to do what it takes to get shit done in your life, then who is? Not a single soul. Not a single soul. And it's not because they bad. 
They, they got their own. They trying to. They trying to figure out for themselves. They Man, probably. You know what I'm saying? Lie. It's a lot. Of they probably. Most- isn't, they probably not even. You you you're trying to you're trying to get this okay. You know what? Tavar, shout out to Tavares. Shout out to Tavares. Cause he he's been saying without permission. Mm-hmm. You know, with the, he's like, man, and I told him I'm gonna work on it this week. Like, you you don't need permission to to be dope. You don't need permission. You can go. You just go do it. You don't need permission. No one's gonna tell you. Right. No one's gonna. No, no one's gonna. You know. Hopefully, you listen to a couple podcasts like ours, and then we, you know, we're we're telling you to go do it. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody about to tell you to go do this shit. Especially somebody directly. Maybe if I know you, you're lucky enough and blessed enough to know someone like us that will tell you to believe in yourself. But maybe not everyone's got that. Right. So you have to do it. You got to do it. You got to be the one Mm. who says, I'm ready. It's got to be you. No one else is going to give a fuck. And it, like I said like before, it's not because they mean. It's they do. They, they're trying to do their own thing. It's a whole movie they're dealing with in their head. Yeah, they're all, a big ass produ- And it's even bigger than the movie. That I feel like is, that's yeah, even underplaying. It's the biggest movie. That's a, we only trying to depict what we can think of. <laughs> how about your... Right, right. We can't even... Right, our brains are hard to even fathom it. Yeah. But like just our experience that's of this life movie. thing is a big ass movie. Yeah, that's the biggest, longest, last So and when, So it's like... And then, like we said earlier, when you start to, when you start to make these changes, whatever it is for you to get you to the next level, then all of a sudden, shit starts like unfolding more, mm-hmm. more ideas, and then all of a sudden, now, and it, it may be practically the reason why is because now you're in rooms with different people that have more understanding. Now you're listening to podcasts. Who, which is more understanding. So now I'm now all, oh, of course I'm more aware because I'm now putting myself in situations where I would be open to more game. Yeah. And that was the thing that was with me too. I think speaking to the wrong people mm-hmm. as well. It's like, you got to kind of speak to the right type of game. That's going to come right back at you reciprocated and even better. You know, you got to kind of get that in you too. So that, but that just comes with, Tackling those small things, seeing which crowd like it's gonna automatically open up for you once you tackle these things. Right, right, right. You know, and it's, and it's gonna start to feel like at first it's gonna be more of like this big ass chip. No, it's gonna be like a little chip, right? Mm-hmm. When you first start to say, you know what, I'm I'm ready, because my I'm I'm on like a ten year journey now. Ultimately, when I went, first lost the weight, you said, you know, I'm ready to just take account. I'm ready. It, it clicked for me. I hit my rock bottom, and then at first it was like it was, they felt. The chips for years felt small, and this was not the internet wasn't really around like that, you know what I'm saying? Or not the internet, but YouTube wasn't like social super, media, you know what I'm saying? That because now the social media game making it real easy for you to get put on some yeah. knowledge, like the social media, like dude, the yeah, fact 10 years ago, even 10 like, years ago, <laughs> the information is like yeah. it's overload, and now because of like TikTok, they're paying niggas to give knowledge, mm-hmm. so you don't even gotta. You can get, and I'm again, you still should hit up the real courses and the real mentorships. But until you get to that point, there's a lot of free game. Yeah. I always educate, no matter what. Anything is education. You can get game from anything. And then you might be like, oh, we're well, on social media, so oh, how you know it's real? Well, then you follow a bunch of them niggas, and then you get an industry standard, and then you go on, your, on Google, and then you figure out and figure out that way if it's legit or not. If you got a pain point, figure that shit out. If you got a question, just figure it out, bro. Especially in today's age. Figure it out. The information is there. <laughs> How do you feel about when niggas come to you and say, hey, man, I want to do this, man. How you do it? Like, what's your first thought? Like, like uh, what if someone says, hey, man, I want to go, I want to be, I want to do films like you. Can you, you, can you help me? What's your first response? Hit me up. See, I was like that. I'm, I, I'm starting to change a little bit. Okay. One... I need to know that you for real. Well, I okay, I, I okay, I had to see where you're going with it, but okay. You know, so that so that'd be the first because I used to always say that, and I mean, you know, niggas would see me with the with the audience. I, I want to get followers like you, da 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 da, and then they would be like, all right, they'd be like, man, you know, I want to help me out, man. Show me what you did, or even with the weight, like, oh, mm-hmm. you did it, how I do it, and then you realize by talking to them, or they not they not ready. So it's like, how much of your time am I going to continue? And like I said, when I'm, if I'm going to give you my energy, I'm going to give it to you. 
Oh, Personally, yeah. I, I don't like to have. If someone asked me, like my boy Latrell, like, how do you build a brand? So I gave him like a thought out, detailed what I believe. You know, saying made it real. I'm not gonna give you some half ass bullshit answer. But eventually, th- that's a lot of energy being expended to something yeah. like that. So I, it, I might have to pay for that. Right. Or you might have or to charge charge, you charge mean, for that. You mean, yeah. And and that that would be one way to get the people who are, are more focused. Well, well, I I well the way that I was saying about hit me up is like hit me up. If you're gonna hit me up, then we still gonna talk turkey. Like charging is that's definitely something I think we should add that exchange to our repertoire all the time. But I was saying more so hit me up as in I don't know if you real or not about your shit, but it's not gonna stop my show or my flow. You can hit me up about it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean. But as far as like charging. No, I think that we should always implement that. I think we should start getting comfortable with implement that type of exchange just to Which see how valuable. Talking about. Right, just to understand that we are valuable. Everybody's time, everybody's work, everybody's knowledge is valuable. And d- even that small exchange between each other is something that's super valuable. Like, we got to get comfortable with that. Yeah, because it's like I was telling you over the phone that th- there's an uncomfortability with charging. Mm-hmm. And I've heard this on some podcasts yep. that we listen to. Shout out to the Social Proof podcast, uh, David and Donnie. But they, um, I hear it a lot throughout them. Is like, even with David, he's got this course that costs 70 bucks a month. And then people were like, man, with the value you're giving, that, that that's way too low. Mm-hmm. And he was even battling with, you know, he at first he was charging his, his hours $100 an hour or some shit for his consulting. Yeah. And then it got to the point where someone else was like, dude, you, you got real knowledge. Like, you're charging way too little. And he was battling if it's okay to charge that. Night. He said one good way to get a, around that, of, of, of understanding what you believe is valuable and what's not, is are you willing to spend that money to do it? Mm-hmm. Like, it's going to be hard for you to convince someone that your course is $1,000 and you ain't willing to spend $1,000 on a course. Right. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Right. One. That I was. Yeah, that I was episode. like, that was dope. Yeah, Super yeah, dope. Yeah. I was like, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, how are you? You don't even believe it because you ain't never done it. Mm-hmm. Well, why is you your gotta, shit different? You got to get in the game. That's what I mean. You got to talk. You got to start talking to different shit. You got to speak different language with this shit when you really want to. You know. Right. And, and, and then, but level. then it's the knowledge to even know to even think like that. Yeah. To even think. To like even that. know that that's an option is that we can cha- we can change the way we think. <laughs> like that's a, for real though. Not for real. There's for a lot real, of people I bet in this world in different Absolutely. countries that don't realize that you're allowed to just think. Absolutely. Maybe in some countries that's an issue. Every country here. No. Right, but I'm allowed to think in my brain what I want, and no one's gonna stop me by myself if I just keep my thoughts to me. I'm yeah, good. I get you. But I guess yeah, it's everywhere then. <laughs> yeah, but I say no, technically, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's shit out here. There's, there's stories that people are believing in. So, uh, guess where we at? Where we at with it? First of all, I got pissed. That's that's the, <laughs> that's the main reason. Okay, but we at one twenty four. That was good. Hey, it's like so fast. It's just up the ground. Uh, sh- Tell them where they can find you at. Dude. Pretty cool apes underscore, and that's the an Instagram. And also, pretty cool storytellers dot com, or excuse me, pretty cool storytellers on Instagram. That's pretty cool apes dot com though. Uh, shout out to the pretty cool apes brand. Oh yeah, I got some upgrades coming up too. So, I'll be uh, I'll be getting some new things going. I'm I'm, I'm going to some sustainability routes and uh, gonna have some organic material coming in and. Gonna push some, gonna push some new brand. I'm gonna, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. You got some new shit jumping off. Soon. Yeah, I got some new stuff jumping off, and yeah, it's going down. All right, uh, you can find me at uh, at Chris Cares None on all platforms. Mm. You can find me at uh, CaresNone.com, which has also the links to all the platforms. Mm. Uh, shout out to the people who've been purchasing. Man, it's crazy. It's the merch is it's crazy. It's been going well. It's going. It's, it's crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a cool feeling, you know. And then you wake up and like people are thinking about while you're asleep. So while you like, I'll get a sale while I'm asleep. That's what the goal, <laughs> right? That's the goal. And now I'm still technically working for that, but the goal is the, no. But you're working towards it. I'm working towards it. Right. It's towards it. Because there will be a system it. in play where then that goes straight to my. Account. You didn't have that system in play before. It's working and it's just working towards right. more of it. More system, you have it in motion. System. Just yeah. keep it in motion. That's it. Uh, and you so thank y'all. I appreciate that. I Absolutely. hope this shit is dope. Absolutely. I think it's dope. So it's all it really matters. Cares none. <laughs> uh, and as always, <laughs> cares none. Nick, <laughs> <laughs> oh, waiting for it. <laughs>